Bhagavad Gita, Text 3.16 My dear Parta, one who in human life does not acknowledge this cycle lives irresponsibly for sense pleasure and thus in vain. This section, beginning with verse 10 and ending with this verse, is not merely amended for ritualistic offerings to the gods, a magical technique of bargaining with supernatural powers for one's maintenance. Those who think that this is all that Krishna is saying miss the deeper implication of his words. In this section, Krishna advocates sacrifice not as a means, but as the end itself, for he has said that life both begins with sacrifice and is thenceforth meant for further sacrifice. The bounty of life is not a product of chance, it is a result of detached action. Getting is a result of giving, and moreover, giving is getting. Life really consists of effectively and actively surrendering one's own power and resources to a supernatural personal source. He who does not follow the system described here as a cycle or wheel chakra of life would be better off dead, for he would then have the opportunity to do so in the next life. Although he enjoys through the senses and is thus obliged to participate in religious sacrificial rites, he does not do so. His life is most certainly spent in vain. Krishna next contrasts those who are obliged to observe religious injunctions for purification with those who are already purified. In doing so, he elaborates in two verses on the position of the self-satisfied soul, who has no need to engage in purificatory sacrificial rituals. <laughs> 